Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. We continue our coverage of the sport. We go deep inside the NWCA All-Star Classic. It'll take place November 5th in Cleveland, Ohio. One of those on the mat that day will be Isaac Jordan, the All-Star from Wisconsin. He joins us now. How are you, Isaac? Doing good. Looking hey, forward to it. You, you've accepted a wonderful matchup with a guy that uh, we have some respect for as well, Missouri's Daniel Lewis. First of all, who made the contact with you? Who gave you the invitation to uh, consider this competition at uh, at the All-Star? Uh, honestly, uh, my head coach just uh, said that I was invited, so he just asked me if I wanted to do it. I said, yeah, and pretty simple. Now, yeah. is is does your season start that weekend? Does uh, Badger Wrestling start that season or that weekend uh, as well? We have a few guys going to an open on the same weekend, but the starters' official season starts the weekend after that. Here's what makes this an interesting matchup for the wrestling fans. And wrestling fans, you're going to be able to watch it on track wrestling or you're going to be able to be there live. And we hope you're going to be there live because Isaac Jordan returns back to Ohio. That's one of the great calling cards for me. But yes. both you and Lewis are uh, exceedingly proficient at your mat work. You're a returning NCAA finalist. Uh, when you latch on to somebody, Isaac, uh, you can keep nearly anybody down. Talk about how strong you are from that top position, from a point of control? Uh, yeah, and in big matches, I'm pretty confident I can ride my opponent, ride him out the whole period, if not a minute to get that riding time point. But, yeah, I'm confident in my top and bottom game, so I'm not afraid to choose down or top against anyone. And it's it, in big matches, that's a... A big strong point of mine, I believe. So you know, one of the things that that is fun for me when I watch you is that first of all, there's nobody you're fearful of. You've got the game plan down. You 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 are mm -hmm. a student of this game. You've been wrestling since how old? Uh, I was six years old. Six years old when you started wrestling in Ohio, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> your dad, by the way, let's give your father some credit, Congressman Jim Jordan from Ohio's is it third district? Uh, fourth. Fourth district. All right, let's give him one more district. Uh, the fourth district. Uh, we have a lot of uh, respect for your father and all he's done for the sport as well. But the fans in Ohio are are going to be in a great position to watch uh, the return of Isaac Jordan. Are you excited to wrestle at the Wallstein Center? Have you ever wrestled there before? Uh, maybe when I was little, but not recently, no. But I am excited to be, be back in Ohio. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it, because I'm a senior and kind of nice to come back home where my family can come watch me and, you know, see me compete my last year. So will there be a lot of Jordans there? Do you anticipate? Uh, yeah, my, I know my immediate family's going to be there. Hopefully my grandparents from both sides. And, uh, I think my uncle's doing a clinic before the duel. So I, I believe he'll be there and I'm assuming Bo and Mick will be there either helping out or competing. So yeah, I believe Brutus is involved uh, uh, mm -hmm. for sure in this event. So kind of a neat uh, coming together of the families again, uh, yeah. extended as well. Uh, Isaac Jordan is our guest. He's a returning NCAA finalist for the University of Wisconsin, the home of the Fighting Badgers. And Barry Davis said, hey, do you want to take this opportunity, put it on your plate, a returning uh, athlete for him, but also a senior this year. It's your job to set a positive example for those young kids coming in. You've got a pair of them from uh, California in the wick twins um have you had a chance to hang out with them much yeah they're uh they're a little different you know they got they're kind of california and a little different in, compared to like ohio but wisconsin but they're they're good guys they're you know they're good in the room they, they work really hard and they're tough wrestlers so I've, I've worked out with evan a few times and he's he's good they're yeah, both they're, really good so they're, I'm, they're, I'm excited for you know them moving forward and next couple of years we got to figure out a way to put some beef on those boys though they're kind of thin yeah we we have a you know good strength coach good nutritionist and they're they're good at what they do so i'm thinking evan will be be pretty big isaac you look great you seem very confident uh and you're a three-time all-american looking to become just the fifth wisconsin wrestler in school history to earn all-america honor four times i think you'll be able to do that without uh really working too hard but that's really not in your uh in your makeup, you get out there and you bust it each and every time. Your record right now stands at 86 and 12, including last year, an incredible season of 29 and 1. You're a three time high school state champ as well. Wrestling from at Graham High School in St. Paris, uh, you were coached by Uncle Jeff, uh, Jeff, but your dad, 
you know, that great congressman that he is was a two-time NCAA champ at Wisconsin. So there is some history riding on your shoulders in yeah. this match, isn't there? Yeah, there's a, there's something to it. But, I mean, my dad competed in the All-Star, and he, I believe he won his match, and, you know, a tough match. So, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to competing in it and hopefully win, but it doesn't really tie into the season, right, because it doesn't count towards the NCAA record. But I, th I think it still matters a lot as, as far as the mental aspect of it, as far as, I, as, how, as how I address the season and how I look at my opponents and where I'm at. So I bring up the Wick Boys for a reason. That style, that California style, a little more laid back, a little crazy, a little beach kind of a, of a, a, a difference. You know, they're, they're their wrestling is not like that though. They're, no, no, they, they really know how to turn like it on, don't they? No. Evan is. <laughs> I worked out with him mostly over Xander because he's a little bigger, but he's he's in your face and he's he's constantly attacking on your legs. So he's a different pace in the room for me and different style because he's kind of a longer guy. So he's. He's great to work out with, but I right, bring them up for that reason. I wanted to just kind of compare and contrast that California style lifestyle versus, you know, the those of us here in the Midwest, the Wisconsin, the Ohio, the Iowa, um, and in this case, your opponent, Daniel Lewis from Missouri. Mm -hmm. We've watched Missouri emerge that Tiger style uh, yeah. emerge, uh, not just in conference but out of conference and on a national level as well. Uh, Daniel Lewis seems to be that opponent that will start things off for you this season. What film, what footage have you looked at uh, from him, if any? No, I've I've watched some film with. Uh, I, I like to watch film a lot with Barry. I've watched him personally so far, just by myself, just looking at kind of his attacks and how he rides and what leg he likes to shoot with and what leg he likes to shoot for. But. Getting closer to the duel, I'll, I'll probably sit down with Barry and we'll go over some more of his footage and stuff. But yeah, just my matches here and there, no like specific match. I'll give you one thing. If you want, I know that you don't have a lot of trouble getting fired up, but if you want to get fired up, go back and watch some of the footage of Barry Davis wrestling. Oh yeah, he's he's fun to watch. <laughs> I've watched a bunch of his highlights. So dude, it's good, isn't he? It's, that was that's, that describes his career though, doesn't it? Isaac just yeah. basically highlights. Yeah, he's. He was very good. He he's was very a human good. highlight machine. <laughs> yeah. He's entertaining, that's for sure. Oh, man, oh, man. I can't keep up with him. Just going out to dinner with him exhausts you. 2016 NWC All-Star Classic this year presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. I want to thank uh, Aaron so much uh, for all that the Wrestlers and Business Network has done. It'll take place November 5th at the Wolstein Center, Cleveland State University. Matches start 6 p.m., main event 7 o'clock, 15 bucks GA, $100 preferred seating and social. You can find more information at GoAllStarClassic.com. Call the Wolstein Center box office at 844-407-2279 or Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts where you can find tickets as well. All right, so Isaac, your opportunity right now this minute to send out a personal invitation to all fans of wrestling in the great state of Ohio that can drive in to be there live at the Wolstein what do you want to tell them? Uh, you know, show up. There's a bunch of Ohio guys coming in, a bunch of guys that went out of state to go to school but are coming back to wrestle with the All-Star, and, you know, it's the best in the country, so it's a good chance to come watch watch the best. You're going to have one of your teammates there, too, Connor Medbury, that big boy mm -hmm. at 285 pounds, that senior also from Wisconsin. He'll be facing off against Ty Walls. Ty will make a return appearance mm -hmm. this year. What do you take, uh, how do you see this? Medbury is, is one of the top guys in the country, surely. Uh, Ty Walls is as well. How do you see that match going down? You got any opinions on that one? Uh, yeah, I, I've watched uh, Ty Walls wrestle in, in high school. He's from St. Ed's, correct? Right. Yeah, so he, we used to duel them a lot when we were at Graham, and uh, he's obviously a very good wrestler, but I, I honestly believe Connor's, you know, national title, con title contender as his well, so I think it'll be a good match, and I, I think Connor's going to win, honestly, but yeah, it'll be entertaining. Mm. Isaac Jordan giving us the uh, insight, if you will, on the heavyweight matchups. This one's shaping out to be an incredible year, both as far as attendance goes, sponsorship, and everything. The NWCA doing it right, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. Isaac Jordan's been our guest on the Nike Hot Seat today. Isaac, I truly, I know how difficult it is for scheduling for you guys, especially at this time of year. How are things going uh, toward your academic uh, achievements there? Uh, they're good. I have... 
18 credits left. So I'll be in six credits next semester, kind of a lighter workload, just focusing on finishing up, you know, on NCAA. So So the balance of this plus six is your is your total. That's all you need. Yeah, eighteen credits left. And your and your uh, your degree will be in what? Uh, life sciences, communications, and entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. So. I like that. Okay. And life sciences. What exactly is life sciences? So it's like web, audio, and just media design. Really? So it's like marketing based. I yeah. like that. I like that a lot. Well, we'll be looking forward to talking to you. We'll be there, of course, live, takedown. And uh, I get to work with the Cleveland um, uh, announcer, Ahmad, who, who's the... He's the hype man for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, there you go. Yeah, right. I'm. I mean, I'm excited. We're going to a town that uh, obviously won the uh, NBA basketball championship this year, mm-hmm. and uh, they're yeah. going to be there. The Scream team is going to be there. So it should be a rocking house. But can't wait to see this matchup, dude. 165 pounds. It's you and Missouri's Daniel Lewis in action. Thanks so much for the time today, buddy. Yes, thank you. Isaac Jordan, University of Wisconsin. He'll take on Daniel Lewis from the University of Missouri. I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching.